Okay, welcome back to political science class and um, good morning to everyone who is present here. Amal Daj, what happened? Are you hungry? They're eating pen there. It's a hero pen, I think so. Right? Amal, no. It's not a hero pen. What pen is that? Fountain pen? Is that? Yes. Okay, let it be. Okay, so come back. So in the last session, we discussed about uh, the democratic uh, absurgence in India, right? The declaration of emergency and um, uh, the Shah Commission report, Shah Commission report, and how the Congress party uh, faced the Shah Commission. That's what the things we discussed in the last class, the Deshi Shah Commission. Okay, next uh, important point for you, Google. I think that you wrote all these seven points, right? Wrote or not? First seven points. Okay, is this uh, slide is okay for you? For one size, increase the size. Need to increase the yes, size. Sir. Okay, size increased. Okay, so next topic for we people. What actually happened during emergency? What happened uh, at the time of emergency? So time of emergency is nearly 18 months. How many months? Nearly 18 months it is. That time is time as the, the time of emergency in India. Okay. It was said that government misused emergency powers in the name of maintaining law and order, restoring efficiency and implementing pro-poor programs. Okay, so in India, countrywide, in pan-India level, almost all the political party leaders, they, no need to right now, no need to right now, okay, Elvina, Elvina always have a tendency to take the pen and start writing, see some, some weird on the board, she will start writing them. Okay, please stop that. I will tell you. Okay, so here, mind it. Okay, it was said that government misused the emergency powers. Clear? Government misused the powers, emergency powers. Almost all the political party or opposition political party, even the judiciary also, uh, commanded the same. For what? In the name of maintaining law and order to protect the law and order in the country, restoring efficiency of the government and implementing pro poor programs. Okay. What do you mean pro-poor programs? The programs to support the poor people in the country. Clear? So as per the government, uh, why this emergency to maintaining law and order, restoring efficiency of the government, and implementing pro-poor programs or development programs for the poor people in the country. Clear? But what is the uh, comment of the opposition party, even the judiciary? They said government misused the emergency powers. Misuse the emergency powers. Okay. Government led by Indira Gandhi announced a 20 point program which included measures like, so she declared a 20 point program to support the poor people in our country. We know that at that time also 60% of Indians are poor. Today also nearly 60% of Indians are poor. Right or not? Clear? Huh? Number of years. Here is 75 years completed after the independence. Still, we can say that uh, more than half of our population, they are poor, clear or not, or under, below the poverty line, below the poverty line, clear, BPL, clear, understand, okay, so the problem is there, so Indira Gandhi came forward with the 20 programs to develop the poor people, or improving the life of the poor people through these programs, the first five programs are land reformation, Second one, land redistribution. Third one, review of agricultural <coughs> wages. Fourth one, workers' participation in management, um, eradication of bounded labor. Okay, these are the uh, first five points to improve the life of uh, the poor people in the country. First of all, land reforms. We already studied that related with the uh, and Gramdan movement, uh, eradication of landlordism. Clear? Okay, or the government wiped away the landlordism from the country. There were no more landlords. Land sealing, land sealing act. We discussed that earlier. Okay, as per that, the government seized the land from the landlords and redistributed the land to the poor landless people in the country, right? That's what land reformation. Clear? Okay, what is that? By law, government tried to solve the issue of landlordism. Land sealing act is implemented and the land distributed to the sorry distributed to the landless poor persons uh, to cultivate in that land. Clear? First point. 
but already in the planned development politics of planned development we learned that uh, all these rules remained as rules in the paper clear clear or not but indira gandhi tried to make this as a reality okay this is a reality land reforms okay and she managed that in one state called west bengal and kerala but those two states are not uh, congress states but uh, communist party states clear or not clear or not these two states are the states basically give more importance for uh, this land reforms land uh, reforms kerala land west bengal kerala land uh, west bengal so we know that what is land redistribution the collected land from the landlords or seized land from the landlords that divided and redistributed to the poor landless people in the country clear is that okay second point third point review of agricultural wages review of uh, agricultural wages so she made a provision in the constitution okay as per the labor laws minimum wages act what is that minimum wages act okay so the management or the employer wanted to provide a specific wage to the worker or the employee if it is less than that example the government fixed the minimum wages for a uh, daily laborer it has 350 rupees per day the employer want to give 350 rupees or 400 rupees no problem more than that is not questionable right or not okay if he is giving 1000 rupees for the employee not a problem not questionable because it is anyway more than 350 if the employer give 300 49 rupees means uh, it is questionable it is less than the minimum wages clear clear okay so she made a rule what is that minimum wages act minimum wages act as per that uh, the employer want to provide a minimum wages that is guaranteed to the worker okay but number of workers in india still they are doing job for uh, 150 rupees per day 150 per day 125 per day okay because of competition in that field right they want at least some money clear or not you going to north uh, indian states uh, this is a phenomenon okay uh, generally they can or we are able to observe this number of workers they are working for uh, 150 rupees 125 rupees basically okay 150 for males 125 for uh, females that's what for bengalis people from west bengal no yes or no orissa north eastern states they are coming to kerala to do the jobs clear because kerala the minimum wage it is 850 900 or something like that okay and in kerala the workers basically basically a worker those who receives 1000 rupees per day okay first of all after the work he will go to bauko beverages corporation of kerala okay you know what is that <laughs> no idea huh? bauko no idea beverages huh? no idea selling liquor right right or not okay the only state in india that selling liquor okay only the government selling the liquor right or not bevco shops are there they will go there will spend the rupees nearly 500 there okay balance 300 to 400 they will purchase lottery tickets another development program of the kerala government okay one is wine shop other is lottery tickets okay so they will dream okay after drinking this liquor uh, what do you got they will dream about a good tomorrow because lottery tickets are there in the pockets clear or not okay balance 100 rupees will reach home hmm? that's what kerala's method that's what uh, today number of people from different states are coming together not all the people i am telling about okay some are there okay clear or not but some people are there even uh, they are uh, getting uh, 900 rupees all the 900 rupees will go to home they will use that for the development of their own uh, house there right some people are like that so that kind of people also are the not everyone okay here you want to understand that we are not discussing about each and every individual in society some people are like that not everyone not everyone okay everywhere we are able to find two extremes there two extremes the worst and the good ones clear or not two ends are there always let it be And uh, now it's time for Miss Elvina. Two minutes. Find out the other fifteen points in the twenty-point program by Indira Gandhi. Okay. 
okay in the initial stage the beginning stage urban middle class was happy that implementation of emergency would discipline government employees and the protest would come to an end clear what happened in the beginning of the declaration of emergency for the first phase of uh, emergency almost all the middle class people within the urban middle class people were very happy because what is that discipline everywhere okay almost the uh, police and the military they are controlling all those things sir the government officers they are coming uh, on time into the office the things are going in a smooth way there is no problems in the country there is no protest movements like of the people it is in a peaceful way everything is in peaceful way okay so critics of emergency felt that promises made to the poor were to divert the attention of people from the excesses that were taking place so opposition parties commented that this 20 programs is just a gimmick just a drama to convert the minds of the people from the problems of emergency to this uh, pro poor program okay one said government is doing number of different activities okay they are arresting the people keeping them in jail okay harassing the people okay i mean the political party leaders the opposition party leaders there is no uh, freedom for the press like their various program other side uh, hmm? one hand the government using to trash the next hand the government using to what is that facts right like that clear or not okay so the opposition party they commented like that one said government doing atrocities other said they coming with these programs is just to divert the mindset of the people okay clear next one sanjay gandhi important person not in politics okay clear but it is he is connected with the congress politics sanjay gandhi son of indira gandhi two sons are there right who are they an idea hmm? sons of indira gandhi it is rajiv gandhi and sanjay gandhi rajiv gandhi and sanjay gandhi sanjay gandhi he is died in an uh, helicopter crash uh, air crash okay helicopter crash he died in that okay there are a number of uh, conspiracy theories also are there behind it clear or not number of conspiracy theories are there uh, behind the death of um, uh, sanjay gandhi and about menaka gandhi huh she is connected with uh, something what is that pets pets of course okay so um, pet related issues okay she is a great animal lover of the country okay find out the connection between sanjay gandhi and uh, menaka gandhi okay and one more bjp leader is there menaka gandhi is in bjp right okay clear or not and one more earlier is that will be varun gandhi varun gandhi okay he is also in bjp so find out the connection of these people with the the gandhi family okay or sanjay gandhi menaka gandhi varun gandhi sanjay gandhi and how these people are connected to indira gandhi <laughs> find out that okay clear or not okay so rajiv gandhi we know that he married from italy right right hmm? yes or no record the class again so come back so sanjay gandhi the younger son of prime minister indira gandhi was not holding any official position she is sorry sanjay gandhi he is not holding any official position he is not the part of the party or not the part of the government clear who sanjay gandhi okay yet he gained control over the administration and allegedly interfered in the functioning of the government what he did there some people are there again okay, movies you can see that i am son of mla i am son of mp so you have to treat me like this you have to treat me like that and i will take decision on regarding this issue <coughs> okay but sanjay gandhi tried to do that okay he is not a um, member in the party okay he is not holding any uh, position that particular political party i mean the congress party at that time and the same time he is not the part of the government yet he tried to control that administration or manage the government clear understand okay so what will happen there what will happen there hmm? that will turn into a corrupted government right his role in the uh, sorry demolition and forced sterilization in delhi become very controversial okay 
he destructed some of the monuments or some of the buildings and uh, forced sterilization in the name of controlling the population clear or not okay so sterilization we know that uh, so uh, we know that our family planning policy okay today we are one always one that's the family plan uh, sorry family planning slogan for our country we are one always one right or not before in my childhood it was we are one always two clear nowadays what happened population is increasing like anything so the slogan changed into we are two always one clear or not okay in future we are two always none that like will be there because population is increasing like anything clear or not ashwini don't worry okay so in this not in the uh, next decades okay after 20 25 years okay so ashwini is in a worry okay let it ashwini come back so that's what so what he did here uh, sanjay gandhi forcefully he sterilized the men and women clear or not forcefully forced more than two kids are there means uh, they want to do the sterilization process or so they want to undergo the sterilization process it seems there so that was a controversial issue okay clear or not if we are willing we can do that the government should not force for such kind of things there so even china we discussed that right hmm? once if a family giving birth for the third children what will happen there the parent will go to jail there right or not that means strict rules and regulations are there or were there in china but today they changed because they came to know that uh, if that is going to continue or that policy is going to continue what will happen there after 10 to 20 years only very poor people will be there in china no young states will be there so the change is that policy clear so this forced sterilization that also created problem okay demolition and forced sterilization in delhi become very controversial apart from the arrest of political workers and the restrictions on the press the emergency directly affected the lives of common people okay in the first phase emergency created problem for the political opponents okay the government arrested the political party leaders or opposition parties uh, leaders and kept kept them in jail but after some year uh, months what happened that started affecting the life of the people this emergency condition started affecting the life of the common people torture and custodial death occurred during the emergency torture brutal punishment was provided by the police department okay they arrested the people and brutally punished them okay custodial death in such kind of punishment lead to death of numerous people in the country clear or not number of political party leaders and uh, the supporters of different opposition party of four congress uh, they died in that uh, period clear simply arresting them and keeping them in jail and torturing them humiliating them and basically that leading to death of such kind of people there okay so that all created problem in the country okay so next one arbitrary re sorry relocation of poor people also took place and our enthusiasm about population control led to the cases of compulsory sterilization clear so they started um making people to move from one place to another okay for development poor people want to leave their own areas uh, and want to build for them that created a problem in the country and the same time forced sterilization to control the population that also become controversial one in the country clear these are the things that happened related with the emergency period in india between 1975 and 1988 clear sorry 1978 1988 78 Clear or not? Seventy-five, seventy-eight. Three years. Okay. Sorry, not seventy-eight, seventy-seven. Remember, not seventy-eight. Nineteen seventy-five. Nineteen seventy-five. Nineteen seventy-seven. I told you almost eighteen months, right? Eighteen months. Okay, so nineteen seventy-seven to nineteen seventy-seven. Nineteen seventy-five to nineteen seventy-seven. So just keep that idea. Okay. So you want to write? So you can write. 